All right, today I will be adding rain protection to my Luba 5000. Now I ordered this from Emotion. This was not sent to me and I'm not even sure if it's totally required, but it only cost $10 and that included the freight. So it was $10 even out the door. So I figured it was better to err on the side of caution than to just take the chances without. I ordered this. It took about three to four weeks to come in. It is coming from, as you can see, Hong Kong. Uh, and it is pretty straightforward. It is a cap for your RTK and a silicone uh, cover for your Luba. Now I have seen that some people have 3D printed caps and I even considered making a cap but for $10, this will, well, it's supposed to automatically uh, click to your top and be done. And then, of course, there's the sticker. So really, I was only looking for the sticker. Uh, I'm not too worried about uh, the unit, but like I said, it's better to be safe than sorry. And this is a thick material. Uh, I really thought the whole thing would be a sticker, but it just seems to be a sticker on the border. So that's what you get for 10 bucks. First things first, I need to get access to my RTK. So a few weeks ago, I did elevate my RTK in an effort to get better reception, I guess, or just connection to the satellites and to the Luba. I really haven't noticed much of a difference in the unit. It is still hanging up in one corner, but I think it's just because it's a narrow corner. And hopefully, once I adjust some fences in my yard, that should uh, fix the issue. So this is a directional cap. It does only fit one way, and it is very straightforward. I mean, it just does clip in this place and it will should keep the water out of the unit. Now that that's done, it is time to again wash Wally off, or my Lula. Yeah, we like to call him Wally. Uh, so this guy does get dirty. He runs well, every other day at least, but he I am always wiping or spraying the dirt off of him. I don't know why they decided to make it white. It might have been better to make it a darker color, maybe even a brown or a greenish, something that would blend into the yard. But after wiping off some of the heavy dirt with uh, water and just a paper towel, I'm going to take some 409 and clean it the best I can. Uh, I mean, the sticker should stay on there pretty well, and he does park now under that little garage awning that I put up, so... If it does rain, really, we're just trying to keep the directional wind and water out. So what's nice about the sticker, too, is they have the engraved uh, buttons already. So the start, mow, home, stop, they're all uh, laser etched. Uh, so you do want to try to line everything up when you do put that uh, sticker down. wiping off those sensors. Now, honestly, I rarely have him set up on a job where he's using those front sensors. Usually I have it on custom, I have it on the highest speed, and uh, I just let it go. Well, there's only one zone that I have set up that's small enough where I can set it up for a fine cut and it only takes about an hour and a half to two hours. He was going on the main part of my yard today and he started at 10 o'clock in the morning and I don't think he finished until about 9 o'clock at night. And that was one, one single pass um, on the highest speed setting on the custom with zero obstacle avoidance because I have all my zones set out currently. And here I'm just making sure that I do clean around that stop button. So if there is going to be a sticker on top of it, I want to make sure there's no uh, debris or dirt or, or grass or anything. So one thing I did do, notice, I did want to line it up and 
make sure I knew how it was going to sit on the, uh, the top of the unit. But something that made it a little easier for me was I just, it's got this blue protective film uh, around the adhesive. So I took my scissors and I just cut that film so it was easier to just peel half out opposed to peeling the entire thing and trying to stick it all down in one spot. So here you'll see me taking the scissors and I just peel that blue film off just a little bit just so I can get that and slice that film in half and then it'll allow me to center it and apply this silicone protection a little bit easier. It is very, very uh, sticky glue that they have on here. I thought it would be some chintzy, cheap glue, but uh, they really went all out with that adhesive. So now that I've got both of those clipped, I'm going to line it up, and I want to check all of those buttons, because really once this is down, I'm not going to be able to move it much. Because once you pick it up and start putting it down, then it's going to lose all its tackiness. So here I'm just pulling half of that out, making sure that it is lined up. It didn't really push down very hard. And once I do have those buttons lined up, I'm just going to push that heavy around with my thumb. And then just basically, uh, once that's adhered to it, I will pull up that other half and just peel that blue out, make sure everything's lined up and then push that down again with my thumb. And that's pretty much it. I mean, the only other thing that's exposed right now is the rain sensor, but that should be exposed. Uh, yeah, and you could still push all the buttons, everything still functions, and he is good to go. I did not turn him off while I applied it. I guess maybe I should have turned it off and pulled that key, but I had a job set up for him to do that afternoon, so he went straight to work. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, please feel free to subscribe so you don't miss anything. And until next time, I appreciate you watching. Thank you.